say this is not a guy you want anywhere near your bracket. No, you don't want him in the bracket. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight, but there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the octagon is Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Bell Center in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 174 pounds. El Tigre. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. for both of these guys' careers. Who is gonna be able to implement their game plan the best in this matchup between these two big time athletes? Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jumper. Ooh, what a punch. Big body to land. Straight right is there. Look at him top of the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Rock him, suck him out of the suit here. Oh, nice combination of strikes there. In terms of the accuracy, I mean, that's exactly what the coach is looking for. That's exactly. It's like the guy is getting hats. It's like he's hitting focus mitts, but instead, he's dancing all over his opponent's face. And they separate. Lee gets hit with a kick here. Let's see how he responds. Oh, he lands 
That's a huge kick here. Oh, man, it ain't Dikembe Mutombo, but he is blocking all these shots coming man, this way. get that out of here. He sees it coming. You're going to have to mix it up. Shake that finger. Shake that finger. Flush knee to the body. He's got the length advantage in this fight and certainly made it count in that exchange. Big pause punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Lands with the knee to the body. Beautiful body kick. Big kick lands. Oh, nice offering there with the knee. He talked to us a lot about that on Thursday. Felt like the knees would be there. It was certainly there on that exchange. He knew they would be available. He just knew he would have to find the right opportunity and right time to land those strikes. Just out of range with that left hook. Checks that leg kick. Switching stances here. Stay Look at him working at trying to shut the liver. Big shots being landed on both sides here. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Oh, nice right hand call. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do. with that punch. Ooh, big knee. Oh, nice right hand. Oh! Blocks the shot. Oh, and he lands another knee there, DC. He talked a lot to us about his length and his size advantage. Doesn't always pay to be the taller fighter. In this instance, it certainly did. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. Big kick. Time to kick. Oh, nice job to land the knee there by the taller fighter. And I think I just heard Daniel Cormier say, I wish I was a little bit taller. You're a baller, though. All right, single collar tie now. Right hand punch. Both fighters throwing heat now. He is all about that left kick to the body. Good punch. Oh, Roundhouse. Talk to me about that kick. He is throwing his entire body into that kick to the point that he turns all the way around before he can face his opponent again. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Some fighters don't check a lot of leg kicks. That one was checked. That D, knee. that D hurt him. What an end to round one. minutes it was DC take us through the replay if you would the story of the round was the knees every time they came into contact he was looking to drive his knee into the body of his opponent and if his opponent ever thought body knee coming he would just mix up the target and try to take it up top all right round two is now upon us pretty competitive first five minutes I thought it's exactly what we expected we expected when we saw this on the match sheet that these two guys would evenly match let's see who really takes control as we go into the second round. Lee gets hit with a kick here. That one landed flush. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. Over and over, he's landed with big body kicks. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Nice job by the fighter here to continue to block the shots coming his way. You think he's trying to sort of fatigue his opponent here a little bit? He's kind of watching and seeing everything that's happening in front of him. 
Later, you'll see him start to throw counters after blocking shots. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Lee gets hit by that kick to the midsection. You gotta do better defensively. Going back to his patented kicks here, but unable to find the target there. He'll engage in a single collar tie. Oh, vicious kick to the outside of that lead leg. You gotta start checking these, man. You gotta check these kicks, or you're gonna flip them on the octagon very short. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. Well, that'll quiet the storm. Shot blocked by Lee. What a tricky head kick. starting to form on the right side of his body. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop this. He better start to move, and when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him to the to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Some nice back and forth action here. Oh, big knee there. Oh. Swing and a miss with that straight left hand. Oh, and he caught the kick. Beautiful straight counter. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Big punch lands through the middle. Punch is blocked. So it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of there. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands, his opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. 
All right, so another round is now underway. Pretty good action over the previous 10 minutes. Your thoughts on what we might see? Both of the guys really picking up on the action, putting their foot on the gas, and really starting to drive it home as we approach the end of the fight. And we're still so evenly matched, and the fight has been so close to this point. Oh, another strike to the body. Not a lot of real estate there, but he found it. Good stick. Nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. And he landed the right hand there. That strike blocked by Lee. Hardy closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Man, look at his torso. That just can't feel good. Look at the size of that bruise on his body. And you got to think his opponent is going to continue to attack that area. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Straight punch lands. What a body kick. Kick. Goes back to that left kick once again. Counter left. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Oh, and now he lands the knee. I'm not sure his opponent saw that coming. He didn't see it coming because he does such a great job. Right up the gut, DC. He's in a world of trouble now. They say the straight moves are the ones that get there first, and it got right to the target. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Now going upstairs with the left hook. Nice jab, falls it up with a nice right hand. Oh, that right hand is on point. Trying to kick the leg out. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. Oh, nice connection there with the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. Oh! He's a He's hurt bad. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands and he's doing a nice job protecting the dome. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure nothing lands. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. Relax, relax. Oh, misses with the jab. And he counters with a left hand. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. following with his hips, making sure he blocked any attempt to get past his guard. Back to his feet. Final seconds of round three. Liver kick. 
That's three oh, rounds God. in the can. We're headed to the championship round. All right, a lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a Telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my Telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. All right, next round is underway, and if you look at Let's these two fight. guys in between rounds, it looks like they've barely broken a sweat, both with good resting heart rate, stamina still very high, and you just have to laud the efforts of these guys in training. Both men certainly noted cardio specialists, but incredible that they would have this much in the tank after 10-plus minutes of fighting. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Very nice outside leg kick by him there, DC. We'll see if he follows it up here. He's really driving his shin into his opponent's side. Beating his leg up. Nice kick landed there by Lee. Oh, and he caught the kick. Lee's kick to the body is blocked. That's a big strike right there. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night as that landed. Look at the force behind that leg kick. He's able to slip the left there. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, wow! Very badly. Trying to establish that jab once again. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Lee gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. Caught that kick there. Oh, a nice punch out of the break there after he had caught the leg. So he is really starting to put it all together now and clearly seems to have found the timing of his opponent. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting the combination. I mean, <laughs> if you're going to sit there at the drive through All right, so a high-amplitude double leg takedown there. Now we'll see what he can do with it to try to advance position on the ground. You knew that he was going to attack the double because he's such an explosive guy. He got it on the hip, finished the shot very quickly. Fantastic job. All right, trying to pass here. As Glover Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked and keeping them in full guard. Well, how about the speed on that reversal there? I mean, I know you can get out of some bad spots, but not with that type of speed. You cannot allow him to get leverage on the bottom. What a sweep. And he is back up to his feet. Nice. Under two minutes to go. find that precise range with the high kick. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. You gotta dig deep here. Oh, man. This is one thing you, you do not want to get kicked in the head in MMA. You cannot take too many of those head kicks, but this guy gets his leg up there so fast, sometimes you don't see it coming. Beautiful right punch, follows it up with the left. You wonder if the offensive fighter's gonna start to get frustrated here. Most skips on all of these shots are getting blocked. They're getting blocked because he's fighting one of the best defensive fighters 
in the UFC. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. his opponent knows where he is. No, he doesn't know where he is. He's hurt real bad. That punch landed in the perfect spot. Right under the elbow. Right. And they separate. Oh, that's a nice strike. Beautiful body kick. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Horn sounds for the end of round four. All right, so there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned a huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide of this fight. You're gonna lose, no doubt. So what are you gonna do about it? I mean... You ready to fight? Ready. So here it is, folks. Fifth and final round. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing thus far. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. Oh, head kick blocked, though, by Lee. about that shin. Let's focus. Let's focus now. Right hand upstairs. Oh, a combination lands, and it seemed like almost every strike found the target. He's so accurate when he decides to attack. It is a sight to behold. That one's a hit. Nice strike. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body hit. him with the straight, beautifully placed there by Lee. Oh, collar tie. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Takedown defense holds up. Nice punch land over the top. a fast, straight, hard jab. That's not a feeler jab. That's one that's really going to the head back. Look at the turnover in that kick. All right, so he leads with the right hand there, and it was effective for him. Most times it's behind the jab, but sometimes you got to just mix it up. Leg kick. Just out of range with that right hook. Three minutes now to go in this one. Looks like his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. Oh, man, head to land. How good is that right hand? Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. Ooh, what a punch. And they separate. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Good right hand right there. Big kick. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Lee going for the leg kick. He does not connect. Nice punch there. Under two minutes to decide this one now. Oh, nice. Oh, and he caught the kick. And they separate. Checks the leg kick. Well placed kick there by Lee. Cut them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. 
Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. And there comes the separation now. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. One minute to go in the fight. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Superman punch lands. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Big knee lands right to his opponent's midsection. Just missed with the left there. Ooh, big shot lands. Continues to mix it up, coming to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Lee. Missed with that attempt. What a 15 minutes put forth. All right, so the fight goes the distance as we await the judges' scorecards, but certainly a dominant striking effort out of that fighter tonight. John, he used his best weapons in order to carry him to a decision, a very clear decision, in my opinion. A great performance tonight by this young fighter. Decision now in the buff has it. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest. 48-47. Played the winner by unanimous decision, LT Man. Well, he did not get the finish that he certainly prioritized when we sat down with him at our fighter meeting, but a win is a win. He gets it done by unanimous decision. And he said he wanted to finish, but sometimes your opponent's not willing to play the game. In those instances, all you can do is control what you can control, and that's fight to the best of your ability. He did exactly that tonight.